As a Mark Martin fan, it pains me to see what this team has become. If you don't see it in the video, I'm talking about Rash Fenway Racing. 2005 was the peak of this team. 15 wins between the five. Yes, five drivers. Martin, Biffle, Kenseth, Bush, and Edwards made the chase. Half of the drivers in it. Coming up just short of the title. 2014 rolled around and the team lost three of their best drivers by then. Edwards and Biffle were the veterans and Stenhouse a young gun. Edwards carried the team that year with two victories, both in the first half of the season at Bristol and Sonoma. Rumors after Daytona said that Edwards was going to leave for Joe Gibbs Racing, like teammate Matt Kenseth. Turns out they were true. He left to drive the 19 and left Biffle and Ricky to run the team. Wood Brothers driver Trevor Bain was given the job in the 99 now renumbered to six. Let's say the rookie did horribly. Spin into the wall, Trevor Bain. The 2011 winner had just taken over the bubble spot when he found the wall and slides down to the apron at turn right, two. Bud. I'm good. Oh, look at the left front corner of that car. Yeah, the right side. Looks like this car, 42 car, Kyle Larson, got sparks flying out from under him. Caution is out with nine to go. It be there or what, but it just took off about like 17 did. I wasn't even trying anything. I just went in the corner and it was straight sideways. Get an idea of what happened here with the uh, six car of Trevor Bain. See him right here. Kyle Larson on the inside in the 42 car. Clean, clean, but the car just stepped out. I mean, when he went into the corner and he turned into the corner, that thing just stepped out with him. It got loose and away it went. Caution, I think. Trevor Bain down at turn one. He spins and looks like Michael Annette and Justin all uh, excuse me. Michael Annette piles in and Justin Allgaier to Trevor Bain spin. Mike, that, that was inevitable. I, I, I mean, those guys were just they're pounding on each other. So there's the whole H. Scott team, two cars involved in that one. It looks like Bain has the worst of it. Watch the number six coming off turn four here. Right back here, and it looks like Trevor tries to move up. Yep, Mike 46, Lynette. and that was there. Hits that inside wall hard. And, and Annette gets tagged by his teammate, Allgaier. Allgaier was right on top of him and ran the back of the 46. Trouble back straight away, guys. Trevor Bain. The number of cars and involved. And more. Logano is in it. Crashing all, oh man. Happen, happen. Look at that. Looked like half the field piled up on lap 47. Bottom of the, bottom of the right rear, left rear turn, turn just got back, got back. I, I, I saw Menard coming off of turn two over there and he was flying. Five he had a big run. That was Trevor Bain talking. Uh, Paul Menard in the 27 had a big run on the number six of Trevor Bain. Oh, man. Gosh, the six just started to turn all by itself. I mean, it's. But, Darrell, do you think the 27 car being out there on the outside, it just pulled the back end of Trevor Bain's six car around? It had to, Larry, because the car was not in any, there was nobody around him except that 27 closing fast. See right here, he gets a big run coming, coming. You got to, I think that's Tony Stewart down below him. He's got cars on both sides of him. And then Kurt Busch got into Bain and uh, into the wall he went. To the right side. He had problems earlier. And then look here, as the caution was thrown, he and Trevor Bain not agreeing on the way things were going on the track. Bain came down. Amarola not happy about it. And then so much more damage. The right side tires went down for them. Green flag back in the air. The four not going. They wreck behind him. The green flag is out as they cross the start finish line. Will they throw the caution? Trying to get back up to speed. Caution comes out. Now the question is who was stay, in, stay front? in front? Of them. Stay in front of them. Stay in front of them. So right here we see they're under green flag. NASCAR's looking at the track, trying to determine if these cars can drive off. It's very important to see who the leader is when the light comes on. 
Caution comes out, and that's. So yeah, Bane did terribly in 2015, only earning two top tens with an average start of 27.9 and an average finish of 25.8, and finished 29th in the standings. And how did Edwards do in his new ride? He did it. By about. He'll see the checkered flag. He'll add his name to the legends that have won at Darlington. Carl Edwards wins the Southern 500. So yeah, Edwards was smart to change teams. Mr. Biffle was left as the only veteran left at Roush. His experience carried the team to a consistent 14th place chase run in 2014. 2015? Yeah, something went wrong. Whoa, oh, here Stewart comes Stewart around. around. Into, into Biffle. Tony Stewart goes around. And caution waves there it again. More cars. Kurt Busch and Greg Biffle, a hard hit there. And the answer to your question before that to restart? No. I guess we get the inside wall end. hard. Greg Biffle pounded the inside wall, but he wants to drive it home. Kurt Busch will not be so fortunate, I don't think. Look, I know it's a minor little thing. Trouble, out, turn four. Holy cow. Big record for it, like big, big wreck. Greg Biffle was sideways and everybody ran into him. Oh my gosh. No, it's in no, front of him. He had he had nothing to do with it. Joe Nemechek and Biffle get together. 16 and the 34, and then everyone else piles in. Just a big chain reaction. Yep. As everybody rushes in. Biffle and Nemechek get together there. And nobody can there check. It is, front straight away. Greg Biffle crashes with the white flag out. Now here come the leaders. Biffle sitting in the middle of the racetrack. The yellow has. Biffle did better than Bain, though. Three top fives, four top tens, 40 laps led. 20th place average start and finish, and he finished conveniently 20th in the standings. Now for Ricky Stenhouse Jr., a two-time Nationwide Series champion who replaced Cup champion Matt Kenseth. He earned Rookie of the Year in 2013, did poorly in 2014, and 2015, well... ended, he wanted to be a better team. Oh no, Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse, pile up in turn four. And we are under caution again. Josh Fenway Ford, the number 17. Here he is, right side of your screen. Yeah, the, he just, it looks like he may have lost the tire, Larry, or something might have happened to the car. Well, remember, a lot of damage on that 17 car from that last wreck, so that very well looks like what happened. Yeah, I mean, the car just starts to go with him. Uh, it, it could be arrow, you know, the car did have damage. You're up in that pack like that, or it could have been a tire, it could have been anything. But it... oh, 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 Ricky Stenhouse. Trouble on the right front looked like. Second caution of the day, lap 69. Stenhouse was 17th, and he pounded the wall. Well, he did. Stenhouse trying to make a pass here. That's Casey Mears, the 13, just ahead. Now, this is going into the tunnel turn. Yeah, what he did was he was going to try to dive under the 13 right there, and the 13 kind of came down in front of him. Looks like he got on the brakes to stay off the back of the 13 of Mears, and it got him loose and into the wall. You'll see here he's going to cut to the bottom right here. Really, I don't, Casey Mears, Casey Mears didn't really do anything wrong. He's right in the groove. I just think Ricky was going to try to maybe do a crossover move on there. Something that just didn't work. So he obviously has punctured the radio. You see right here, just inside Clint Boyer. It's just so hard. Has a lot of wheel. All right, guys. To get They'll the be coming into the garage here. Yeah, that's a bad situation to be underneath another car. Digging really hard. You have all the air being taken off the rear spoiler. On top of that, there was a little bit of contact between the two cars, but that doesn't help anything either. So just two cars racing hard on a restart. See Ricky Stenhouse on the inside of him. They just make contact getting into turn three. Heavy contact for both cars. Hard into the outside wall for both drivers.
See all the right side damage to the seven to bring They immediately took that car back into the garage. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. was running 16th, not on the lead lap. Yeah. He ended the year with one top five, three top tens, 23.6 average start, and 24.3 average finish, and would get 25th in the final point standings. Roush somewhat recovered from their blunder, earning two wins with Stenhouse, 16 top fives, 40 top tens, and two poles. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, follow my Twitter in the description below. Catch the Firelight Sportsman Series at Road America tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is Green Flag Studios, signing off.